Hi, everybody. I'm Randall Ritz, one of the organizers for this event for the Zappi Group of Companies. I'd like to welcome you to the session, Power Semiconductors, Empowering a World of Unlimited Green Energy. Please remember that this session is also being recorded and will be available to watch on demand following this session. Our speaker was unable to attend this morning on short notice, so we'll be playing a pre-recorded version of his presentation that Andrea and a colleague provided just for this session. As a result, we can't take any questions during the session, but Andrea has graciously provided us with his email address at the end of the presentation. We'll also provide it during uh, the session in chat. And we'd be happy for you to contact Andrea if you have any questions at all uh, during his presentation. With that, I'd like to give a warm virtual welcome to Andrea Piccioni, who is a senior engineer at Infineon Technologies. Um, he's also joined by his colleague, Giovanni Parino. Please hold for a couple seconds here while I start his presentation, and please enjoy. Hello, everybody, and warm welcome to the session power semiconductors, empowering a world of unlimited green energy in the future of electrification conference. My name is Piccian Andrea, and together with Giovanni Parrino, we are giving you some insights of the significance of power semiconductor to achieve the net zero targets. We empower a world of unlimited green energy is not just a slogan, it's our purpose and motto. Renewable generation is the key to reduce carbon emission. In order to uh, pave the way to the usage of renewable energy, storage systems are needed, battery as well as hydrogen. Today, renewable energy sources account for the 12% of the world's supply energy, and by 2025, be the primary source of energy globally. Let's try to understand together via this picture how the power semiconductors are the enabler, the enabler for the power transformation chain. Wind generation do requires power converter to interface as well as the solar system. Then the energy the electrical energy needs to be transformed for the, then the utilization. These infrastructures such as the grid to require further investment to enable of renewable energy, as we mentioned before, such as the energy storage system, as well as uh, applications such as solid state circuit breaker and solid state transformer. Last to utilize efficiently our electrical energy. Few example are given here, such as the transportation via train and the transportation via electric vehicle. As we saw in the previous slide, each system in the chain needs a power converter. Each power converter needs a switch. But which technology to select? Likely, Infineon provides all commercially viable solutions, starting from silicon-based, suitable from low to high power and targeting low to mid switching frequency application, moving forward to one band gap. Silicon carbide is targeting high power and high switching frequency application, while GAN is targeting low to medium power with highest switching frequency, exploring new horizon in power supply application and audio fidelity. Infineon has 20 years of field expertise with silicon carbide. We released our first commercial SIG power device in 2001. Up to nowadays latest product release, the 2 kV cool-seek MOSFET, targeting application 
with 1500 volt DC bus such as solar system. We do not only provide power saving but also other components and we do not provide only components but we provide system know-how. Clear example is our reference board. The reference board is shown in this slide is a dual active bridge 11 kilowatt targeting DC wall boxes and energy storage system. Heat to, it does have bidirectionality power flow supporting vehicle to grid or vehicle to ohm, a night power density, ve very good efficiency, an output power of 11 kilowatt that can be uh, even further increased thanks to the possibility to stack those modules, and a very uh, easy to use graphic unit interface. And Wi-Fi module, so no needs to connect any cable. You can comfortably uh, uh, configure uh, the, the port via Wi-Fi via your laptop. Let's deep dive into the subsystem of the board. The main board made with our 1200 volt cool sick MOSFET 30 million to switch in parallel is driven with our gate driver, AC driver 180 compact and also host the current sensor from Xensi family. The controller board is made also all in-house with microcontroller XMC, security chip and Cypress memory. The auxiliary power supply is a flyback made with our 1700 volt Kulsik MOSFET and the flyback controller also in-house. Not only silicon carbide, but also GAN. Infineon is offering a full range of power technology, as we mentioned, not to forget the cool GAN. Infineon is providing also here a system solution, offering switch, driver, and control IC. Moreover, to underline how GAN technology is important and how we want to position, recently we acquired GAN system to further strengthen our position in the market. The main challenge of our customer nowadays is the shortage of power semiconductor. What is Infineon doing to remove this bottleneck? Recently, we invest in VLAC in 300 millimeter module, further enabling uh, manufacturing of IGBT ESMO and MOSFET for all ends market. The key criteria for the site selection is the economy of scale, time to revenue and geographic diversification. Our 300 millimeter fab is running full steam Consequently, we highly recommend to switch to 300 millimeter fab based technology. If you are still using old technologies such as T2 and 6H3, Infineon strongly recommend to move to the seventh generation of trench stop such as S7 and H7. It's released as mentioned in two flavor. And as you can see from the graph, total losses from dynamic and static. S7 is the uh, short circuit rate that targeting drives with very low VC sat, but a little bit higher total losses. H7 is that targeting fast switching application being non short circuit rated is targeting UPS solar as well energy storage system. Last but not least, with our trend stop seven, uh, we increase the system roughness against humidity and cosmic ray. Not only front end investments such as the one of Philac, but also back end, so the surrounding of the chip and the packaging. In fact, Infineon invest in a third model in Cooling, Malaysia, uh, that is front end fab to expand the market leadership in powered semiconductor. This will pave the way to prepare manufacturing 
for the acceleration of World Bank Gap. It will be ready uh, in 2024. And this is how Infineon is reacting to the challenge of uh, bringing to the market more and more million pieces of power semiconductor. I will now leave the mic to my colleague Giovanni Parrino that will guide you through the utilization and further details of how Infineon can uh, help the designer to design converter for the utilization of the electrical energy. In the second part of the presentation, we will now focus on efficient energy conversion in automotive applications. Efficiency is a key word in automotive electrification as it has a big impact on the total vehicle mileage, performance and cost. We will now analyze a full driving cycle, starting from the grid. We will already have some losses because of the onboard charges and the battery self-heating. The energy is then taken from the battery and transformed into a three-phase alternating current by the inverter. The electric motor transforms this into a mechanical rotation, which is brought to the wheels by mechanical parts as a transmission or a differential. Every time the battery discharges, there will be again some power losses. However, most of the losses happen in the main inverter and the electric motor. In the end, the final vehicle performance and mileage are strongly dependent on the power class, technology, system architectures, and driving style. In the driving and braking session, there are some additional losses because of the vehicle rolling friction and air drags linked to the car aerodynamics. The wheel to battery section is related to deceleration, where the kinetic energy is transformed backward through the electric motor to the inverter, where it charges the battery again. However, as it is not an ideal system, not all the available energy can be recovered, but there will be again some additional losses in the inverter and in the electric motor. We will then analyze deeper the two most important applications in the vehicle motion domain, the onboard charger and the traction inverter. Starting from the onboard charger application, silicon carbide and gallium nitride are the two most relevant technologies that will enable higher efficiency and higher power density compared to standard silicon solutions. Infineon has a broad portfolio including all relevant technologies, from IGBTs to silicon carbide MOSFET to gallium nitride hands. Front-end technology is only a part of the story. Innovative and high-performant packages are also needed to fully take the new technology's advantages, for example, top-side cooling packages to reduce the device's thermal stress. Infineon provides many options, ranging from discrete to modules, to let our customers have an efficient design according to the different application requirements. Other application trends will also have a strong impact on the final system performance. For example, higher switching frequency to increase the power density or multi-phase or multi-level topologies for higher voltage ranges. Infineon supports our customers thanks to a deep application understanding and innovative reference designs. In this reference design for a 10 kW onboard charger, Gallium nitride hams from Infineon enable a very high converter efficiency up to 96%, combined with an outstanding power density up to 10 kW per liter. Infineon provides not only the power switches, but also other components, for example drivers to reach high performances in a compact space. The second application in focus is the traction inverter. Also in this case, a high system efficiency is a strong requirement to reach high performances at an affordable total vehicle cost. Silicon carbide MOSFETs help provide high efficiency and power density and they are usually available in 750 and 1200 volt voltage classes. However, for some specific markets, for example buses and trucks, higher voltage classes are also interesting to have a higher battery capacity. 
Infineon provides best-in-class silicon carbide trend technology to reach high efficiency levels, especially at low medium loads. Power switches packages play a crucial role for the total inverter cost and performance. Infineon has several options available in its portfolio, like discrete, half bridges or three-phase bridges, frame or molded packages, to let our customer choose the best solution according to their specific project requirements and previous experience. Other trends at inverter and at wall vehicle level, like the use of externally excited synchronous machines or skateboard architecture, will finally impact the final performance and cost. Infineon deeper system understanding and competence help our customer choose the right solutions for their specific requirements and challenges. The first reference design in this slide is the evolution of the already available hybrid kit. In this new generation, there are now the hybrid pack drive cool sick generation 2 module and the latest third generation of ES driver optimized to drive the Infineon silicon carbide MOSFETs. Moreover, the coreless current sensors are integrated in the frame module, enabling a higher power density. This kit can then be used as a reference for inverted design up to 300 kW to reach high performance at a competitive cost. The second kit refers to a cheap embedding solution, so where the 1200 volt silicon carbide Gen 2 MOSFETs from Infineon are inside the PCB to enable the highest integration level. This solution is recommended for high-end designs where space and weight are critical. Higher power levels than 50 kW can be easily reached by paralleling the silicon carbide MOSFETs thanks to the optimal layout. We are now at the end of our journey. We started from power generation with wind and solar systems, then we discussed how to improve the infrastructure and the power conversions to reach high power efficiency from the beginning to the end, to reduce power losses and total system costs. In order to do that, Several semiconductor technologies are available, like silicon, silicon carbide, and gallium nitride, each with their own specific strengths and optimal voltage, current, and switching frequency ranges. We then analyze deeper the most relevant applications in the industrial and automotive world to better understand their possible efficiency improvements thanks to a better use of the latest technologies and products by Infineon. Infineon front-end and back-end technologies enable our customer to reach high performance levels with optimized solutions for their specific designs, combined with a strong application expertise and relevant reference designs. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. Many thanks to our speakers for this pre-recorded presentation. It's going to be a little bit short today because, of course, it was pre-recorded. We have dropped a contact email into the chat area if you'd like to contact them with any questions following the session. Also a reminder that this session will be recorded and uh, has been recorded and will be available to watch on demand in the sessions area following the session time. Thank you so much for attending. Please join the next sessions from the lobby. And thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.